and it gives me great pleasure to welcome this man onto the uh, stage. He's just won the Sway Lake Cup. Put your hands together and welcome Anthony Buchanan. Okay, um, the last time I stood up in, uh, in front of an hour or two, I, I sent you like a really later, but there's a few young who were there at the time. But uh, this is about a, a couple of things, and, and the first thing that I've got to do is thank two people in particular. Uh, one has been mentioned is Vernon Cooper, and the other is Paul Fisher. moving on and, and uh, sort of looking out and, and developing his career as a coach and uh, I wish him all the best and he's been a big part of us and uh, uh, there's no doubt he's a, he's a good guy and I wish him all the best for his future and hopefully we'll, we'll rejoin somewhere down the line. But then uh, there's no doubt that he's got skills of a coach and there's somewhere down the line that Vernon will appear as a coach and he's passed on to our young players a huge amount of knowledge and has, has been a, a huge asset as an athlete over the last two years. And thank you both for your, for your huge commitment. And there's, there's, there's one other person, and unfortunately, he hasn't had recognition over the two years that we've, We've got the cup finals and, and this year we won it is, uh, is Kevin George and uh, unfortunately Kevin has been under the radar but he is a huge part of his he has a huge part of our success and I just want to sort of acknowledge Kevin's contribution to this because Kevin has been a, a big asset and a, a huge contribution to the club. But thanks very much Kevin. <laughs> well, backroom staff. It comes down to people like Craig, Helen, right, our physios. It comes down to people like John Martin, our doctor. John, thank you very much, right, huge from you. You turned up when, you know, it was over and above the call of duty, and I really, as an SCRC, we really do appreciate that, right. Thank you very much, John. Uh, and Paul Bear, people like that, right, that are going in there. And some heroes, you know, and, and, and huge. But you never forget, right, this is one person I think we, we, we mustn't forget. And he's a living legend with, with us in our, in our setup, and that's our Rob, our happy days, right? He's uh, him and his hot beds, right? Today, we need Dave, sit over there somewhere. Thanks very much for your support, right, for Tlethi RFC. It's a, it's a huge challenge we can all present ourselves, but thank you very much. Do appreciate what you've done for us over the season. And once again, thank you very much. But we, we must move forward, right? And uh, I'm not going to keep it wrong. I'm sure this is going to be a great night. This is the first, first event at uh, this, and I'm sure this is going to grow into something special. Um, so I'd like to move on, really, and ask uh, Kevin George if you'd like to come up for a second. Please, Kev. Kev's going to, uh, he's going to present the, the award right, for, for our young player of the year. There's three nominations, and that's Dale Ford, Ben Morgan, and Chris Keener. And the winner is Ben Morgan. Nick Reynolds and Chris Keenan and uh, unfortunately I'm going to make this award so the winner is Nick Reynolds.
very quickly uh, it comes to the uh, main award, uh, player of the year, and uh, pretty difficult to, to, to arrive at this decision really, but having said that, you know, there's three uh, great candidates. Uh, first, Sean Hopkins, Nick Reynolds, and Adam Powell. And honestly, I'd be, I'd be more than happy to present either one of those players with this, with this award. But unfortunately, we have to select one. And this year's player of the year is Sean Hopkins. Thanks, Scott. Cheers. Um, I left that early in the night. I'm trying to read my notes. But uh, one thing's for sure, um, before I move on to, to, to the couple one, one thing I want to say from, from all Flash uh, RFC, what it means to us is that uh, we know that our support for, for Nigel and Garden at the Scarlets is, is huge, right? We're all Scarlets. Uh, this is what it's about. This is young players giving them the opportunity. And it's terrific then to be able to win a, a, such a prestigious award as the as a Swear Cup final, showing really that what we're doing is, is doing the right things. And it's huge both from Gareth, Gareth Jenkins, and Nigel Gareth, right down the line for what we're doing. And there's other clubs involved, uh, San Levy and, and Kamada and Riker, we really equally all in the same boat. And that's why I think the future is, is, is bright, it's, it's going to be what we all want and uh, what we have to do is have a bit of patience. But tonight, Karen, I'd, I'd like to wish them the best and uh, for ourselves, we're just going to keep growing the board the right way. And could I now ask Landa to be standbys to present the cup to our captain and then can I ask all the players, rather than come up here, to stand up where you are and if you're not sure, to stand up anyway. And uh, just to, for everybody to acknowledge these players, Glenn, can you come up please? Can you welcome Mr. Sector Frankie? Can all the players stand up please? All the players in the SCRC? And all the players here. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. Ladies and gentlemen, Risa Lufranti, Bukhan and Moise Dunn, Brilliant, super. Thank you very much.